everyone, my name is Tarika and I'm a sophomore in the GW School of Business. I want to give you a huge welcome to GW, GWSB, and of course your FYDP class. I hope you gain as much from FYDP as I and a lot of my classmates did. We learned how to perfect our GWSB resume, write a cover letter, and we most importantly started building our professional and personal network in the business school, which is super important. I would really recommend joining organizations both inside the business school and outside the business school because that's how you build upon your hobbies and your interests and of course meet really awesome people and make friends. I would also really recommend utilizing the online resources and support system that GW and GWSB are providing for all of us. Even though we're online, it doesn't mean that we can't tune into our professor's office hours, reach out to our TAs, or go to academic advising. I think that we need to use this online period to the most that it has to offer, and I feel like FYDP will be a really great resource for you guys in doing that. Hi Kevin, this is Katherine Wayman. Thank you so much for including me in this video. I think this is a great way to engage with students on a new level, given that classes are now virtual. Some advice that I would have for first year students in your FYDP class are to definitely utilize your FYDP mentor. Given that they are also a student at GW, they understand the culture of GW, how to balance homework with internships, jobs, social life. So they really are your go-to for all things college and all things GW. Additionally, I really think FYDP is a great transitory class so it's a great way to explore yourself and kind of step into your own given that you're now on college. You take personality tests, you learn about different leadership types and skills, and so I think it's a wonderful time to explore yourself and kind of understand the why behind what you potentially want to be doing with the rest of your life. Finally, I think the most important thing is get to know your peers. The students in your class, which is a very small class, it's usually around 19 students, will be with you for the next four years at GW. So you never know, you could meet a really good friend of yours in that class, but also you could be potentially networking with some future colleagues of yours. So FYDP is a wonderful class and I wish you nothing but the best in your first semester at GW. Despite the fact that it's virtual, I have the most faith that you will get a wonderful experience out of this class. Kevin is a wonderful instructor. I actually had him my first semester at GW, so I wish you nothing but the best and good luck. During your time in the FIDP um, class, uh, expect to really get to know yourself on a deeper level. Um, you will be exposed to numerous activities that will help you uh, realize your strengths as well as your weaknesses, um, but really get the key into those strengths. And, what makes you uniquely you and you get to cultivate these strengths and to help finding your niche within GWSB but also in life. I would also say that uh, in your time in FYDP, really be open and sharing your ideas and collaborating with your peers as well as your instructor. Um, the more you share, the more open you are with your peers. Um, it just enhances the classroom dynamic and makes it a better learning environment for all people. So. Hello everyone, my name is Steven. I'm a junior major in business with dual concentration in international business and innovation and entrepreneurship. Minor in communications. First of all, I want you guys to know that Mr. O'Connell is a great instructor. I took his classes for two semesters straight for both BADM 1001 and 1002 and I enjoyed them a lot. Mr. O'Connell is very engaging, he's very enthusiastic and he's passionate for you guys. So I expect you to learn a lot from this class, even though it is a short class, but it's very useful. I know for some of you, it's very special and even a little hard to start your college journey with a virtual semester, especially for those who are international students. I am an international student from China, so I know how hard it is. There are different time zones, there are internet technological issues that you have to deal with. But as long as you keep up with your classes and professors, and finish your assignments on time and communicate, you'll be fine. And make sure you get involved. Even though it's a virtual semester, there will definitely be events holding online. Attend those events that you are interested. Maybe you will meet more friends and start building your network. Networking is very important and Mr. O'Connell will talk about that more in the future. And lastly, this is a relatively small class compared with your other classes on campus. Start 
getting to start getting know start getting to know your classmates and your instructor and your TAs by practicing your interpersonal skill and networking skill. It's, it's going to be very useful for you in the future. And yeah, that's it for me. If you want to contact me um, by any means, ask Mr. Connor for my contact information. And good luck. Have a great semester. Hey everyone, my name is Ann Anderson. I'm a junior and another mentor, and I worked with Kevin all of last year teaching his sections of FYDP. And just from working with him, I can tell you, you're gonna learn a lot, and he really does try to make it super engaging. He adds a lot of real world experiences and shares a lot of stories that I think are really insightful and interesting, and so I really do hope you get a lot out of it. I know I even did, as a sophomore, I learned a lot from him. And the class as a whole is really designed to let you get to know each other. And especially in this virtual setting, that's so, so important. So take advantage of that. Talk to the people in your class and just in all of your classes, talk to them, get to know them. And reach out to us as mentors. We're here to help, we really want to help. And we're excited to be able to guide you through this time and through your first year at GW. So don't be afraid to reach out. And if you need help, we're always here. And also you can reach out to the advisors. They're super helpful. You can reach out to them for resources, if you need an advising appointment, if you wanna to talk to them about your classes, about your four-year plan, anything. They're really there to listen and help you out through your time at GW. Um, but also, I would advise going to office hours. They're really great, it can seem really scary, but I promise you they're not. Professors are really there to help you. So go to office hours. If you need help, don't be afraid to ask. They are there to help. And overall, I would say just join some orgs. I know being on being online can be interesting and weird, but join orgs. I think it'll help when you come back to GW to already have that kind of community. And we really are trying as org leaders to make it a community for our members. And my last piece of advice is to not be afraid to say yes, but also know when to say no. So thank you, Kevin, and good luck to all of you. Hey Kevin, it's Katie Quinn. Thanks so much for asking us to help you out. I think it's such a great program overall and clearly we still have these close-knit relationships. So I think the number one thing I got out of not only being a mentor for this course but being a student was the relationships I held on to. It's a small group, it's only 19 students and whether you have the same major as the person who's sitting next to you on the first day or not, you're still a little bit nervous. It's your first day at the business school and you know that you have four years with these people and I always go back to these people. I've had class projects with them and we're always like, oh, hey, I saw you in FYDP or TSDC a couple years ago. Do you want to be partners? And it's just fostering those close-knit relationships right off the bat and it makes all that much more the difference um, whenever you're in another class with them or in any other class, you just feel that confidence that you can go up to someone and create that relationship. I would say something else that I really loved about this course was the preparation that they gave to us. So whether it was my mentor or the instructor, I still have close relationships with those people and just being able to feel prepared in any situation, they showed me how to capitalize on my strengths and take on any situation that I might face in the business school, the business world, an interview, or just any type of interaction in my career. And I still hold on to the very basic tools and resources and skills that I learned in this course, which was almost three years ago at this point. So I would say those are some good takeaways. Thanks, Kevin.